So, of course, when I decide to start recording, there's a bunch of noise. Like always. Hi guys, it's your girl is here. So, today, can we address um, my foundation? Because I know I'm looking a little pale today. But it's because I... I ran out of foundation and I'm just like, am I really going to go just to the store to get foundation? No. So I'm um, using the ones that I have and we're just going to go ahead and deal with that. With that being said, um, today I have a little, how can I call it? Like a little makeover, a little DIY. I don't know, but there's some items in my closet that they need help. <laughs> and when I tell you, um, <laughs> I obviously can't speak like any other day. But like when I tell you that they need help, they need help, okay? They do. Like I'm just like, am I going to wear you out like that? No. So we're going to go ahead and put our skills that we have learned and we're going to go ahead and use them. So, I don't know if you guys remember, um, sorry if the camera is shaky, but it's my hand. <laughs> okay. Anyways, on my rainbow um, haul, I showed some pants that they were actually for work. And I had already wore them, but I'm just like not happy about them. So... Let me go ahead and show you which ones I'm talking about. Okay. So, it's this little... As you can tell, these things are huge. They're in a size medium. So, I didn't think it was going to be like a big size difference. But, they are. Uh, these things are huge. I mean, and then they're like stretchy in the back here. So, they literally just like fall. And I'm just like... <laughs> This the whole entire time. Yeah, so we obviously don't need that in our lives. Um, and then belts, I'm not a big fan of belts. Honestly, I have some, but I'm just not a big, big fan. So we're going to go ahead and do a little, a little something, something with these pants. What do you guys think? Okay, so... I think I want to do them as a skirt and a little top. So, um, a little, just a little, um, you know, how can I say it? A little backstory about this, okay? So, my I know how to sew because I learned from my mom. So that, I know I could do. Is it going to come out how I imagine it? I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and put our skills to the test. That's what we're going to go ahead and do today, okay? So, let's go ahead and stop talking and let's do this. Okay, noise in the background. Shush it. So, what I'm doing first, I'm just going to go ahead and measure it out. Um, yes, I ripped my skirt and I'm so sad, but whatever. Um, I'm just going to measure out a, this, like, the length that I wanted in before I cut it. And I think this skirt, it's, like, a really good size. So I'm just going to do a little, like, detail there before I cut it. Okay, here goes nothing. So I'm going to cut it below the line because when we sew the seam, it's going to obviously get shorter. What?
Oh, hey, they look like little cute shorts now. Okay, so now that we have this little cute shorts, so now that we have cut it, we're going to go ahead and now fold it like this. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure we have this straight at the bottom, like this and this are matching. And what we are going to do, I think I should do it this way. So obviously the skirt has to be looking straight. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this part. So this, we're gonna go ahead and cut it. Okay, this material is really hard to work with right here. Like, it's just not wanting to stay. Like, I pulled it here and it's over here. And okay, okay, let me pull my hair. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and want like a straight line here. So it's like, you know, your skirt right here. We're just going to go ahead and cut this part. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and take it to sew it and I'm basically, I'm going to sew this two together like this. So it's going to seem like just like a straight line and same thing to the back. Sew that together, make it like a seam like a straight line. And then it's a little bit, like we're going to go ahead and tie up on the waist as well. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and do something, okay? So now that we have our skirt out the way, now we can't just get rid of this. No, 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 no. We're going to go ahead and make it into a shirt somehow. So I was thinking of something like this. 
like a little kind of like tube top with like straps so don't know how it's gonna happen but we're gonna try to make it happen I'm thinking of maybe just like obviously taking the measurements from it and then you know going from there yeah that's what we had going on so let's go ahead and see you were able to do this Where is my little measuring item? There we go. Okay, so this one's a little from the back. It's just pretty much like straight. And then from the front, it has like a little curb. So we are going to go ahead and try to do that. So. I think it should be good. And then this one, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use it to do the straps and what, whatever else I need. If I need anything else. It's ready. I'm wearing it. But before I show you guys what it looks like, um, let me let me just like go a little bit into details on like my whole, you know, <laughs> I'm such a fucking fashion designer. Anyways, so <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. Okay, so I have always wanted to be... Okay, no. Not always, okay? Because I wanted to be a teacher when I was little. When I was in high school, though, I wanted to be a fashion designer. So I wanted to design clothes. I wanted, you know, have my own fucking clothing line and all of the above, right? And so I started little by little. Um, obviously, I think I said about my mom. So, no, I don't think. So, okay. How I learned... Well, you guys can see, like, I still have the mess in my bed. Ooh. Okay. So, my mom, she actually went to school for this. Okay? She went to school for this. I wanted to go to school for this, but I didn't but she did so I learned everything from her um she would make like wedding dresses from like scratch she would make like big ass quinceanera dresses like those big puffy and like yeah so she will make the whole entire thing because she went to school for that so 
you know? That's what me and my mom have in common. Like, we like doing that. So in high school, um, she taught me how to do certain things. And I would actually make my own shirts for school. I think I made, if I remember correctly, um, I think I make maybe three or four shirts. Um, of course, I don't have them anymore. But, um, yeah. So, now, it's been about eight years since I ever touched like a sewing mach machine or even did anything like this. So, I'm a little rusty. But you know what? I think it came out good. Okay? So, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. What? Oh, yes. I am my own designer. Who made this? <laughs> Me. What? So, what do you guys think? Honestly, let's not go too close to this because, yeah, we had a little bit, you know, boo-boos on the way. But, you guys, overall, like, I think it looks pretty cute. <laughs> I did it. I am so proud. Like, quarantine, when are you going to be over? Because, yep, I am definitely taking my new outfit out. So everybody could see. Whoops, I literally, I think, just like ripped my skirt. Ooh, that booty. Okay, I don't even have a booty. We're working on that. Okay, so real quick. Um... Because I didn't show you guys everything of how everything went down. But basically, once we sewed in, so we, we cut it and then we sewed in like to be straight from here and from the other side for it to look straight. Then for the waist, because it was too big. What I did is I basically just like sewed it like straight. So I cut like a like a big chunk, maybe like that big. So I basically like the tag and everything. I just fold it like this. I measured it and then I just basically sewed it and then obviously cut. Cut the rest out so that's how i got the waist to be small and then i still need to go over it again mostly because <laughs> this happened when i tried it on but it's just basically going back to sew that in for the shirt i didn't show you guys everything so once um i cut it and i sewed this side together, this side together, I sewed in um, the seam, but in the side, I didn't go straight, what I did is I sewed it in and I curved it up a little bit, so it's like a little curved, because if I would have sewed it straight, it was going to be like really straight, so it was not going to be like tight to my, um, to my body, so I had to go in and just sewed it in a little bit more I mean it looks really bad but yeah so instead of going straight I just went a little curve there and then well once I sewed in the uh, bottom and the top I just had to do like the straps and what I did I just cut like fabric I measured it to the other shirt like the length of it just one big thick strap and then I just like fold it, sewed it in, and then just like switched it out. 
So just basically sew them in and sew them here and sew it here. So that's pretty much it. I need to cut like all that off. But besides that, I mean, it turned out pretty well. Did you guys notice? I even have like the little, um, my little, what is this called? Scrunchie, whatever. Um, this one is actually from the bottom because the pants had like the little scrunchy things at the bottom. So I literally just cut off like the access fabric and like, I'm going to stop the little scrunchie. I don't know why I'm doing accents today. But okay. <laughs> She proud. All right, you guys. So this is the end of my video. Let me know what you guys think of my outfit in the comments down below. I have more ideas to come. So if you guys like this, you're gonna see more of this. Um, and if you don't, I'm sorry. But Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. You guys are amazing. I'll see you guys later.